And amendment number 15, what it does is it, uh, it, it, it ensures the focus or scope of the, of the uh, NEPA analysis, the environmental analysis, to, to cover foreseeable impacts. Um, with a, with a, and, and, and so the idea there is that by, by tightening the focus of the uh, NEPA analysis, it gets her to a faster uh, production timeline, which I know both you and Mr. Lowenthal have commented on, so it seems like an objective that, that, that you would share. Number 16, um, uh, what this one does is it, it largely codifies this one federal decision concept. Mr. Chairman, we've, we've seen, and give me some wiggle room, I believe it's a tripling, a tripling of the amount of time that it takes to do a National Environmental Policy Act analysis. Um, and, and in some cases, I think it's even greater than that. Um, this is the, the law hasn't changed. It's just this crazy implementation that has changed where we've lost the, the, the sight of what the, the analysis is actually supposed to be actually considering. And, and so uh, this, would, this would codify the one federal decision uh, framework, including having a lead agency, a joint schedule, things that I really hope none of us uh, oppose. This is similar to the, to the dashboard concept that, that the Obama administration even progressed. And so I'd urge adoption of that one. Uh, number 17, um, let's see, I'm sorry, I got to read real quick. Uh, what, what this one does is it, um, it, it, it requires that there be um, threshold considerations on whether NEPA actually applies to proposed actions. And so it's not just this this writ large that, uh, that, that it, it applies to everything. You actually have to apply threshold consideration for determining whether uh, the application of NEPA is appropriate. Uh, number 18, um, yeah, so what this one does is this is compatible with the one federal decision to where if there are issues that, that uh, result in differing agencies kind of coming in and, 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 and competing over, over an analysis, um, uh, they both can continue their analysis, but this doesn't result in a control issue, so it ensures the compatibility of the one federal decision, which ultimately we've got to get to a decision on whether uh, this, this passes the NEPA sniff test, whether it doesn't, what type of mitigation may or may not uh, be needed. So uh, that's number 18, and then we'll do a 19, right? Uh, and then number 19, the final one, uh, Mr. Chairman, is that uh, any any analysis under NEPA, um, it, it, it's clarified that, um, uh, that, that, that the, a major federal action, which again is a NEPA threshold, is, is limited uh, to those where decisions which are subject to federal control. Um, and so, and, and responsibility. So this is designed once again to ensure that we're properly scoping NEPA, we're properly applying it and not being uh, uh, overly broad in the application of where NEPA would, would be implicated under these decisions.